Welcome to 5th grade math with Mr. J. So in this video, we are going to learn how to classify triangles by both their sides and angles. And we're just going to jump into it right here with number one. On the left hand side, we are going to classify by sides. And on the right hand side, we are going to do angles. So for number one, whenever you're looking at a triangle and classifying it by its sides, you need to take a look at how many of the sides are congruent. And congruent just means how many of the sides are the same. So for number, four, number one, we have a three feet, a four feet, and a five feet. Are any of those the same? No. So what we would call a triangle with none of the sides being congruent, we would call that scalene. So this is a scalene triangle. None of the sides are the same. Let's go to number two. As you can see, all the sides are eight inches. All of them are the same. If they are all congruent, we call that type of triangle equilateral. So this is an equilateral triangle. And then number three, your last option here, we have a 10 centimeter, a 10 centimeter side, and a two centimeter. So two of the sides are congruent. If two of the sides are congruent, isosceles. So again, top one, number one, scaling, none of the sides the same. Number two, all of the sides the same as equilateral. And then number three, two of the sides, isosceles. All right, number four, let's go to classifying by the angles. So number four, on the bottom left-hand angle, you see a little box there. Whenever you see that, that means you have a 90 degree angle in that triangle. If a triangle has a 90 degree angle, you call it a right triangle, a right triangle. Number five, we have angle measures of 40, 40, and 100. So do we have a right angle, a 90 degree angle in that triangle? No, so it's not gonna be a right triangle. So what we need to look at next is, do we have any angles that are over 90, or are they all under 90? Well, we have one above 90. If you have one angle above 90 degrees, that triangle is called an obtuse triangle. And then the last one, let's take a look if we have any 90 degree angles, 65 degrees, 65 degrees, 50 degrees. So no, we do not have any 90 degree angles. Do we have any that are greater than 90? No, so it's not an obtuse triangle. They're all less than 90, so that is what we call an acute triangle, okay? Now, for an acute triangle, all three have to be less than 90, all three. Take a look at number five up here. There's a 40 degree, a 40 degree, and a 100. Now, we have two angles that are less than 90, but are all three less than 90? No. If you have one angle that's above the 90, you consider it obtuse. Again, I'm gonna repeat back. Acute, all three angles have to be less than 90. And then on number four, the right triangle, if you have something that's 90 degrees, it's automatically a right triangle. So those are the definitions and how you classify a triangle by both sides and angles. So what we're gonna do now, I created a mastery check video where I give you six triangles and you classify them all by both sides and angles. I dropped that link down in the description. So I will see you over there where you are going to try some on your own to see how you do. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a great rest of your day. And until next time, peace.